Good morning, dear students. Welcome to English Zoom lesson. What do you see in this picture? Yes, an alligator. But what is written over here? Alligator? Is there a mistake? Or is it a combination of two words? Can you think of the words that this word alligator is made up of? Good try. Alivator is the title of the poem that we are going to read today. Objectives to read and discuss the poem, to comment on the words rhyme and rhythm used in poem, to answer questions that begins with question words such as what and where. To know different spellings of long vowel phonemes. Open your English workbook to page number 80. It's a wordplay poem. Roger McGuff is the poet of this poem. He has written this poem. Look at this word, elevator. Actually, it is made up of two words. So it is a made up word alligator and elevator you know what elevator is elevator is a thing that lifts you up that takes you up they are put together so it is made of word alligator and elevator put together look at the children at the bottom of the picture Start reading the poem from there. Let us all read it together. Beware. What is the meaning of beware, children? To take care of, to be careful of. So let's start reading. Beware the elevator if you see one in a shop. He will let you ride upon his back and then eat you at the top. Oh my goodness, this is a real dangerous elevator. Where might you see the elevator? In a shop, wonderful children. You have to write this in your English workbook, page number 81. And remember, when you write, you have to write small and beautiful letters should be seated on the line. You have to use a sharp pencil. Take care of the tall and short letters. Where will the elevator let you write? Who will answer this for me? Good job. On his back. Quickly write this, children. What will happen at the top? Yes, he will eat you. Oh, no. Great job. You have to write this sentence. Quickly write the answer, children. Now let us do B. Elevator is made up word, which two words are put together to make it. Take the correct answer. The first option given to you is alligator and stairs. No, it is not Ali stairs. Alligator and elevator. Is it correct? Yes. Alligator and elevator together makes elevator. The third option given to you is elevator and anteater. No, it is not right. Did you put a tick over here, children? The second option, alligator and elevator. Now question C is homework. It says, 
why do you think the poet has set out the poem the way he has? Why does it start at the bottom? An interesting question. I'm sure you're going to enjoy doing this. Great job. Now turn your English workbooks to page number 82. Exercise, word detective. I love being the word detective. Do you like being the word detective? Very good. So let's start doing. Look back at the poem elevator on page 80. What shape is the poem written in? Take the correct answer. Quickly check the elevator on page 80. What is the shape of it? Is it a circle, an elevator, a tree? Who will give me the answer? Correct, it is an elevator because it is taking you up. Now let us do question B. Let us read the question together. Find the word in the poem that rhymes with talk. You can refer to the poem. Yes, you are right. The answer is shop. Children, you write it over here. Write beautiful, write small. P is the letter with tail. It has to go down the line. H is a tall letter. It has to be taller than the other letters. Write one or two words that try with top. Question two. Can you think of two words that rhyme with the word top? Yes, you know many words. You have to write two words over here. One or two words. Mop. Hop. Excellent, children. Did you write the words? Oh, the kangaroo is hopping. Great job. Now let us do question C on page number 82. Find the word in the poem that has a long I sound. Do you remember the long I sound children? We read it yesterday. Remember the long I sound can be spelled in different ways. I-G-H in high, Y in cry, I E in pie, I in find, and I with a consonant followed by an E, eyes. Did you find in the poem a word with I sound? Right, excellent. Question two, circle the words below that have long I sound. Look at the first word, K-I-T-T-E-N. How do you say it? Yes, it is kitten, so it does not have a long I sound. It is not chitin. Look at the next word, H-I-D-E. Yes, it has a I followed by a consonant and then an E, so it is hide. What about the next word? Try. Yes, it is, because Y says I. What about M-I-S-S? -S? No, it doesn't, it is miss. Kind? Yes, it is. What about H-I-L-L? -L? It says hill, not hoil. What about L-I-G-H-D? Correct, children, because we know I-G-H together make the I sound. What about E-I-G-H-D? No, it doesn't because eight. 
E and I does not make the I sound. It is not I, it is eight. You have done a great work. Now, children, open your English workbook to page number 84. Here we have to do the sounds activity. Question A, can we read it together? Draw lines to match the words that begin with the same sound. The first word is slide. Remember, the first sound has to be the same. You have to look at the first sound. In slide, the first sound is sl. It matches with which sound on the next side? Very good. Slide starts with the same sound as slip. Next word is trick. Try. Wonderful. The next word is sizzle. Can you find on the other side which sound it will match with? Sizzle. See. Good. Say. Mine. Yes, very good. Many. Whisper. Excellent. Why? Which five words in activity A have the long I sound, children? Can you find out? Good job. It is slide. The next one. Try. Sigh. Wonderful. Mine. Good. Why? Excellent, children. Quickly complete writing these. And remember the rules of writing. Write on the lines. Write beautiful and small. Take care of the short, tall letters, a letter with tail. Did you finish writing? Excellent. Nice job. Let us have a quick summary of what we learned today. To read and discuss poem. To comment on the words, rhyme and rhythm used in poem. To answer questions that begins with question words such as what and where. To know different spellings of long vowel phonemes. Do you remember all these children? Good job. Thank you so much for attending Zoom class. I love to teach you. See you tomorrow. Until then, have a nice time. Bye-bye.